Okay, here we have the Dinko with the newly installed Dinko stack. Nota bene, uh, in most cases you get the Dinko uh, modules with pre-installed Dinko stock, so you don't normally have to do it. But this video is just in case you have to do it, the, the Dinko stack can be installed. So, as we see, uh, the LCD screen is, is rolling a default carousel that can actually be configured afterwards if you want. Uh, the Ethernet cable is here, full speed on Ethernet, and this is the antenna for the GSM module that we are not currently using. We have the relay statuses as the backend server is running, relay 1 is off and relay 2 is, is on. Uh, we have the, have the binary inputs here. Uh, <clears throat> that, that are also backnet objects. So let's start by, by testing the binary inputs. Uh, when I shortcut a binary input, I should see a, a LED glowing here. One of those four for the for the dry contact um, for the dry contact inputs. So let's take number one. If that's working, yeah, working fine. Binary input number two. Yeah, good. Binary input number three. All good. Binary input number four, all good. Okay, so let's test this from a from a backnet client on on our mobile. Um, yep, we use uh, the the freeware back back move client for Android. It's a very simple backnet client. It has very uh, limited capabilities. For example, it can not um, subscribe to backnet values, so so change of values cannot be. Uh, demonstrated in this client, but anyway, you use polling instead. Uh, let's start it. Open the net backnet network and refresh the list of devices. There is only one on this network. It's the Dinko backbone, that is this Dinko here. So let's take that one. Uh, <clears throat> There we see all the backnet objects, it's very simple. There are four binary inputs, uh, two relays, and there's a trend locker. That's uh, probably not in use, I don't know. Uh, first, let's see how this, uh, how this works. If we, if we shortcut this, this binary input here, number one. Now it's shortcutted, and so let's pull it again. Read it. We see it's zero. So. Uh, that's working fine. Next, let's try the relays. Relay 1 is off and uh, relay 2 is on. Let's take relay number uh, relay 1, for example. Write the value to it. It's, it's currently off. So we activate it. Activate it. Oh, sorry. Activate it. Okay, there you go. It's activated. Let's do the same. With relay two, that's on. We deactivate it or inactivate it on prior to eight. All good. So, Dinko with Dinko stack, perfectly working. Thank you very much.